Hey everybody, this is Kenny Cash from Factory Underground Tech, and today I have the great privilege of sharing with you the brand new Ozone 10 and some of its great new features. Let's check it out. As a producer and mix engineer, I definitely prefer to send my tracks out to be mastered by a professional. But with that being said, sometime due to budget and timing restraints, it's good to have the option to master in-house. In fact, the track that I'm going to be working on today is from one of our bands from Factory Underground Records, similar kind. And we were really rushing to get this record done by the deadline because we wanted to release the record while they were out on tour. So this track is called Waiting by Similar Kind, and we're going to do a little before and after. So I'm going to start with one of the features that was already in Ozone and show you some of the mods that they made. Cool, so you can already see this is a completely different view that we're used to seeing in Ozone. This would kind of be considered their beginner view where the tools are limited, but really quick to adapt if you're trying to custom up the setting. Uh, it's pretty cool actually, but maybe a little remedial for the more advanced user. You could see this track selected folk. Let's try rock, and you'll see that the tonal balance curve has changed. If we want to get out of this view, all you have to do is hit this thing that looks like a little director's tool, and you'll see this is all of the effects that were loaded up or inserts that were loaded up into Ozone. So I'm going to remove each of these. And start with some of the new tools. This is probably my favorite, the stabilizer. This is a really cool addition to Ozone 10. So what this is doing is actually shaping the tone a little bit more, kind of like the sculptor. It actually has a little bit of the elements of what like Soothe would have in it, where it's actually reducing some resonances. Um, in this mode, shape, it is actually doing both a boost and cut, or you could put it in cut mode so it just removes the resonances. From there, you can also adjust its strength in these three different bands. You can choose to tame the transient. And what's really cool is you can use this delta option to see what the plugin is actually doing. And you could even change different curves.
I really do love this thing. This thing is sweet. This is a really nice addition to Ozone. Let's check out the next one that's brand new. That's this Impact. So this is kind of like a multi-band transient shaper, it seems like. Let's check it out on the low end. This also has an auto level built in, so if I have this off, you're going to hear that the, the volume is going to really boost as well as the impact again there's a delta option to hear what it's doing and something that's pretty cool on this is you could actually sync this to the BPM of your project So you can hear the setting is bringing out a little bit more of the snap of the snare and taming the kick drum. And also what's really nice about this is there is this percentage knob over here where we can do wet and dry. Next is a new option they added to Imager, which is pretty nice. They added this recover sides option on the Imager plugin, which is pretty cool because when you're usually reducing the width of the stereo field, it's actually bringing down the volume of what's on the sides. I'm going to make some drastic moves just so you can see what this is doing, especially we'll do, we'll target in the low mids and mids. When I bring the stereo width all the way down, you're going to hear the guitars disappear from the sides. Now, as I move this all the way up, you're going to hear the guitars return, except they're going to be more focused towards the center. And lastly, but not least, there is a soft clip that's been added to Ozone, which is really nice. I believe I should also mention that this does do oversampling, uh, which is really, really important when you're doing some type of clipping. And I believe I read someplace that it's stationary at four times oversampling because they found that to be the best setting for uh, the use of Ozone. So let's check this out. You're going to hear that the track is just going to kind of zoom in a little bit and get louder. There's three modes, low, medium, and high. High is obviously going to add the most distortion, but let's check this one out. So that's a very nice, smooth-sounding clipper. That is a great, great addition to have. So now that I've went through the plugin quickly, I'll do a little bit before and after Ozone 10. And what's great about this, this came out at a great time for us because, like I mentioned, we are really rushing the release for this one. And hopefully I like this better. And what I'll do is I'll switch out the audio without losing any of the views through DistroKid. If that's something that you're interested in learning, please let me know in the comments below, and we can do a video on how to do that. So let's quickly just load back all the settings that Ozone did on its own. And then we'll quickly let it learn the threshold to a little bit more of a competitive output or luff reading at minus eight.
So to me, that's a lot better of a starting spot than the old ozone would typically give you. And this gives me plenty of options to tweak and refine the master. Let's check it out. I'm going to do a little before and after my previous master with a new master of ozone 10. And let's see if I could get it to be a little stronger. <laughs> 